So it's about 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, we're just heading off uh, Malulaba. We're going to head about 15 k's out. Um, look for sand. Drop some big pots down. We've got the boys here who are going to show you how to uh, catch spanner crabs. And uh, these guys are absolute pros at it. So uh, hopefully we can fill that pot. Well, look there, our uh, pots here in the back. They're just a flat meter by meter with mesh on. Yeah. We bait up the middle, lay them on the bottom on the sand in the 40 meters. And um, yeah, the crabs just walk onto them and get bulked and they stick in there. And when you pull them up, hopefully they're, they're loaded like they were the other week. Hopefully. Two or three. Here's the bone. There it comes, it's coming over. <laughs> I was going to say hello to you. Pots here, nice flat, They're about a meter by meter, covered in a certain type of mesh. Put the baits in the middle, drop them to the bottom on the flat on the sand in 40 meters. Mm. Wait for an hour or so, pull them up and see what's in them. I have four pots per person too. Four so pots got, per person. Yeah. So we got yeah. eight. So we got eight. Yeah. What are we using for bait? Oil-soaked pillies. Oil soaked. Yeah, you want to see the slick Yum. it creates when we throw them out. <laughs> September is a good time of the year to, to do it. Um, that's what we found in the past. It seems like they, they all gather up together to spawn and carry on and have a party. Have a party. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's the way he says it. Yeah. So, so when you miss <laughs> we know what he's really trying when to you, say. When your missus says, I hope you go and catch crabs, it's one, one good way. Okay, just bait them up here. Zippies are down there. Okay, we've got our nice oily pillies, six per bait, and that'll do. Have one more. Yeah, lush, you know, I've done this a few times, so. Second nature. We're a well oil, oiled machine. <laughs> Keep your ropes nice and in order. Oh, we're going to do two at once. Two, yeah. yeah we're going to do another one, yeah. Wind is blowing a bit. It's a little bit of wind. Yeah. Might have to be it, mate. Yep. I'm going to run out. Oh, we got a few there. Hold us in tight. Oil. <laughs> Oil me up. Okay, so yeah, we're right to... Scan over there, 40 metres. And I know it's sand out here, we've been here before. Mm -hmm. Nice sandy bottom. Crabs bury in the... They bury in the sand. They're always, they're always nice and clean too. They're never covered in barnacles or, or any muck. this one on a float. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Here we go. Over she goes. Okay. Yep. So we threw out all eight pots and came back about an hour later to see if we'd had some luck.
one in the outside even. Wow. What you gotta do is work out how they're in there and you just push them gently out. Now without even looking, you know that size. Uh, these, these are quite nice. They're strong little buggers too, like you put them down there. They've got to try and move them in the bucket, Get the third one. In the bucket. Wow. Get that one in the middle. How cool is that? That little spike there is where you measure it from. My homemade gauge is a little bit bigger than 100 mil, so. And it's back to that part of the car carapace. So as you can see, that one's well and truly over. Yep. Oversized, so it's legal. Yeah. He wouldn't be sized, would nah, he? Look at all those jackets. <laughs> hey, one came on. Throws me in here before. They've been wrecked a bit. Yeah, there's a couple of nice ones there. Good size on it. Yeah, good stuff. Well, he really got in there nicely. He just about had a feed. <laughs> so not a bad morning out on the water uh, with 23 keepers. Now we've learned how to uh, catch them. Let's go and see Jerry and learn how to cook them. Right, well, we've had our crabs on ice when we caught them out of the water. Yep. So they're nice and cool. Sweet. Boil our water. Really get that singing. Once it's boiled, we'll drop them in there. I like to bring it back to the boil, at least cook them for 15, 18, 20 minutes. As soon as we finish the cooking, they'll go straight back into here. This will be icy slurry mm -hmm. and lots of lots of salt lots of salt. so i've got a lot of salt in that water and a lot of salt in this water how much water is in there so that's just uh, like fresh water and you just whack salt there's in about there. 35 liters in there how much salt is there? at least five cups rock salt here and at least one holy moly at least one yeah four to four again because the crabs you next day, you want to be able to taste that you know, nice taste of salt. Not over salted. Yeah. So we'll just go for. Go for. If you leave your crabs in your fridge overnight, they seem they seem to taste that bit nicer the next day. You're going to taste it. Yeah, about right. <laughs> yeah, that's salt. This ice will dilute it a bit. Alrighty, so the um, the spanner crabs are in, and uh, Jerry said about five minutes back to the boil and then you cook it for another 15 after that and then it goes into that to cool it down how long does it go into that for 20 minutes to cool down and another good indicator that they're getting very close like prawns if they start floating which these are starting to do okay so we've been cooking these for about 18 minutes boiling away the next step is to get them straight out of there and into this chilly ice because that just sets them, gives them that taste. Yes, yeah, it's nice and salty. And I'm supposed to do this, yeah. I'm just to poke it down there. <laughs> Almost got me. A couple of extra peas. <laughs> Mate once told me, he said, sit them in your fridge upside down. 
really. It was good for retaining the juice. I oh, know. They've been chilling for a good 30 minutes. He's missing a nipper, that's bad luck. But what you do is you pull all the legs off. Like so. And believe me, they are the tastiest bits like most crustaceans, you know, the claws always taste good. Mm. You get it to that point, and then you break this off. That usually comes out fairly easy. I just break away a lot of this. Peel off the gills. Now, a lot of people say, oh, they're too fiddly. Well, they are fiddly, but if you do this little trick, they're not. Then you just get all that. And you just squash it. Squash it all up. Wow. And then, oh, so, sometimes I'll take that over the tap and wash it. But this one seems fairly clean. And then you can just peel your meat, pull it out in pieces like, oh my god, so <laughs> beautiful. That mm. is so cool. Now the nippers, get your wooden hammer that my daughter made in high school in woodwork and just crack that try that Andy tell me oh that's not God. the best does it have like those little gristly things inside no they're just straight these bits if the claws are big enough you'll get a nice feed I just, I just, just crush them up and crack them a bit <laughs> man mm. that tastes so good Holy moly. Mmm. Mmm. That is the best bit. That was my claw. <laughs> oh, yeah. What happened to yours? Here it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you enjoy that. That is the nicest. The nicest bit. Okay. There you go, mate. Hook in. Oh, my God. And yeah. Oh, beautiful and salty, just right. Yeah, because I've always had sort of, I have bought a couple of these in the past and yeah, I was yeah. like breaking them in a thousand bits and it just wasn't working, but that That's the go. So much easier. And then you just pick away and pull at it and pull out your bits of shell. Too easy. That's cool. End the story. All right, I'm going to um, get stuck into a crab before I head back to the Gold Coast. Um, hope you enjoyed the ep, guys. Um, thanks to Jerry and the crew. Um, give us a big thumbs up. Smash that sub button. Drop a comment. We'll see you next time. Hammering. You're eating my crab, Jerry. Chew away. <laughs> <laughs>